Terminology The language of PLCs consists of a commonly used set of terms, many of which are unique to PLCs. In order to understand the ideas and concepts of PLCs, an understanding of these terms is necessary. Sensor Ace Sensor is a device that converts a physical condition into an electrical signal for use by the PLC. Sensors are connected to the input of a PLC. A push button is one example of a sensor that is connected to the PLC input. An electrical signal is sent from the push button to the PLC indicating the condition, open or close, of the push button contacts. Actuators Actuators convert an electrical signal from the PLC into a physical condition. Actuators are connected to the PLC output. A motor starter is one example of an actuator that is connected to the PLC output. Depending on the output PLC signal the motor starter will either start or stop the motor. Discrete input a discrete input, also referred to as a digital input, is an input that is either in an on or off condition. Push buttons, toggle switches, limit switches, proximity switches, and contact closures are examples of discrete sensors which are connected to the PLC's discrete or digital inputs. In the on condition a discrete input may be referred to as a logic 1 or a logic high. In the off condition a discrete input may be referred to as a logic zero or a logic low. A normally open, no, push button is used in the following example. One side of the push button is connected to the first PLC input. The other side of the push button is connected to an internal 24 VDC power supply. Many PLCs require a separate power supply to power the inputs. In the open state, no voltage is present at the PLC input. This is the off condition. When the push button is depressed, 24 VDC is applied to the PLC input. This is the on condition. Analog inputs an analog input is an input signal that has a continuous signal. Typical analog inputs may vary from 0 to 20 milliamps, 4 to 20 milliamps, or 0 to 10 volts. In the following example, a level transmitter monitors the level of liquid in a tank. Depending on the level transmitter, the signal to the PLC can either increase or decrease as the level increases or decreases. Discrete Outputs A discrete output is an output that is either in an on or off condition. Solenoids, contactor coils, and lamps are examples of actuator devices connected to discrete outputs. Discrete outputs may also be referred to as digital outputs. In the following example, a lamp can be turned on or off by the PLC output it is connected to. Analog Outputs it's An analog output is an output signal that has a continuous signal. The output may be as simple as a 0 to 10 VDC level that drives an analog meter. Examples of analog meter outputs are speed, weight, and temperature. The output signal may also be used on more complex applications such as a current to pneumatic transducer that controls an air operated flow control valve. CPU The central processor unit, CPU, is a microprocessor system that contains the system memory and is the PLC decision making unit. The CPU monitors the inputs and makes decisions based on instructions held in the program memory. The CPU performs relay, counting, timing, data comparison, and sequential operations. Programming 
program consists of one or more instructions that accomplish a task. Programming a PLC is simply constructing a set of instructions. There are several ways to look at a program such as ladder logic, statement lists, or function block diagrams. Ladder logic Ladder logic, LAD, is one programming language used with PLCs. Ladder logic uses components that resemble elements used in a line diagram format to describe hardwired control. Refer to the Step 2000 course Basics of Control Components for more information on line diagrams. Ladder Logic Diagram The left vertical line of a ladder logic diagram represents the power or energized conductor. The output element or instruction represents the neutral or return path of the circuit. The right vertical line which represents the return path on a hardwired control line diagram, is omitted. Ladder logic diagrams are read from left to right, top to bottom. Rungs are sometimes referred to as networks. A network may have several control elements, but only one output coil. In the example program shown example I0.0, I0.1 and Q0.0 represent the first instruction combination. If inputs I0.0 and I0.1 are energized, output relay Q0.0 energizes. The inputs could be switches, push buttons, or contact closures. I0.4, I0.5, and Q1.1 represent the second instruction combination. If either input I0.4 or I0.5 are energized, output relay Q0.1 energizes. Statement list A statement list, STL, provides another view of a set of instructions. The operation, what is to be done, is shown on the left. The operand, the item to be operated on by the operation, is shown on the right. A comparison between the statement list shown below, and the ladder logic shown on the previous page, reveals a similar structure. The set of instructions in this statement list perform the same task as the ladder diagram. Function block diagrams, FBD provide another view of a set of instructions. Each function has a name to designate its specific task. Functions are indicated by a rectangle. Inputs are shown on the left-hand side of the rectangle and outputs are shown on the right-hand side. The function block diagram shown below performs the same function as shown by the ladder diagram and statement list. PLC scan the PLC program is executed as part of a repetitive process referred to as a scan. A PLC scan starts with the CPU reading the status of inputs. The application program is executed using the status of the inputs. Once the program is completed, the CPU performs internal diagnostics and communication tasks. The scan cycle ends by updating the outputs, then starts over. The cycle time depends on the size of the program, the number of inputs or outputs, and the amount of communication required. Software Software is any information in a form that a computer or PLC can use. Software includes the instructions or programs that direct hardware. Hardware Hardware is the actual equipment. The PLC, the programming device, and the connecting cable are examples of hardware. Memory size Kilo, abbreviated K, normally refers to 1000 units. When talking about computer or PLC memory, however, 1K means 1024. This is because of the binary number system, 
210 equals 1024. This can be 1024 bits, 1024 bytes, or 1024 words, depending on memory type. Random access memory, RAM, is memory where data can be directly accessed at any address. Data can be written to and read from RAM. RAM is used as a temporary storage area. RAM is volatile, meaning that the data stored in RAM will be lost if power is lost. A battery backup is required to avoid losing data in the event of a power loss. Read-only memory, ROM, is a type of memory that data can be read from but not written to. This type of memory is used to protect data or programs from accidental erasure. ROM memory is non-volatile. This means a user program will not lose data during a loss of electrical power. ROM is normally used to store the programs that define the capabilities of the PLC. EPRAM Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory EPRAM, provides some level of security against unauthorized or unwanted changes in a program. EPRAMs are designed so that data stored in them can be read, but not easily altered. Changing EPRAM data requires a special effort. UVEPROMs, Ultraviolet Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory, can only be erased with an ultraviolet light. EPROM, Electronically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory, can only be erased electronically. Firmware Firmware is user or application-specific software burned into EPROM and delivered as part of the hardware. Firmware gives the PLC its basic functionality. Putting it together the memory of the S7-200 is divided into three areas. Program space, data space, and configurable parameter space. Program space stores the ladder logic, LAD, or statement list, STL, program instructions. This area of memory controls the way data space and I.O. points are used. LAD or STL instructions are written using a programming device such as a PC, then loaded into program memory of the PLC. Data space is used as a working area, and includes memory locations for calculations, temporary storage of intermediate results and constants. Data space includes memory locations for devices such as timers, counters, high-speed counters, and analog inputs and outputs. Data space can be accessed under program control. Configurable parameter space, or memory, stores either the default or modified configuration parameters.